What is up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a common cheating tactic. I don't know if it's too common, but it's really easy and underrated. And teachers, if you're watching this, yes, it's possible that your students are doing this. So make sure that you take extra caution when watching your students reset their calculators. But I'm going to be going over how this is done and how you can do it. Uh, whatever happens as a result is not my responsibility, of course. For this video, I'm going to be using a TI-84 Plus CE. So if you guys have one of those, you're able to do just what I'm doing here. So basically, students are usually required to fully reset their calculator before they write an exam. But there's an easy way to bypass this, or at least trick the teacher into thinking that you actually reset your calculator. And it's as simple as installing a program that mimics the TI-84 Plus CE reset screen. Now you can do this on a TI-84 TI as well, but I'm going to be doing it on a TI-84 Plus CE. Now I will list all the download links in the description for everything you need to do this, but yeah. So I'm going to give a little demonstration on the screen. This is my TI-84 Plus CE, and what I'm doing right now is going into the programs and running the fake file, and I'm demonstrating how once you run the file and it displays the fake message, uh, you can quit out of the program and you'll still have the programs installed on your calculator. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to install it. It's really simple. Just go to your Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. Why did I say Internet Explorer? Okay, so go to Google Chrome and install the TI Connect CE software depending on what calculator you have. If you have the TI-84+, Plus, you're going to have to get a different software. So I have that installed right here on my desktop. So you can open that up, plug in your calculator. Okay, so I just plugged in my calculator, so now it's going to show up. Okay, so here's my TI-84 plus CE. So if we go over to the program editor, this is where, or sorry, if we go to our calculator explorer, this is where all our files are going to be kept. So now what we have to do is find the files that we want in our calculator and drag them over to our calculator. Here's all the files that you're going to need for what I'm doing in this video. So that is going to be this notes program for hosting notes. Um, this fake CE reset screen and convert text file and then the TI connect CE file of course. So first I'm going to show you how to put on the fake CE screen. All you do is download this file which will be hosted in the description. You don't even have to unzip it, just drag the file, the fake v3.0 file straight to your calculator in the CE program. I already have it installed so I'm not going to overwrite it and yeah. so once you do that I already demonstrated how to run the software at the beginning of the video so you can just rewind if you want to do this um, now for notes now I really like this because it's so simple and useful I mean uh, all you gotta do is create a text file right click new um, we're gonna text document and we're gonna call it notes 3 double click on it this is a test notes file save it so once you have your text file with the text that you want to put in your calculator simply drag it over top of this convert text.exe file that will also be in the description now once you click run what that'll do is generate a file that's compatible with your calculator so you can drag it directly onto the TI connect software so I'm just going to drag it on to the calculator and boom, you're done. But I forgot to mention, before you can do that, you have to put this notes file on your calculator as well. So install the fake screen and then drag the notes file and then make a converted notes text file, which then you drag to your calculator. And yeah, so that's all I wanted to demonstrate in this video um, how to prevent so if you want to prevent this, if you're a teacher, and so when they show you their reset screen, tell them to close the screen by pressing any button on the calculator. So once the screen is closed by pressing a button, because that's what happens when you reset the screen, if you can't type anything on the calculator, that means that program is running and it's not the official fake reset screen. So yeah, that's how you prevent it. Um, anyways, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Also, I know this video is kind of weird. It doesn't fit the theme of my channel. It's because um, I haven't uploaded in like a long time and I want to ease into it. And I just came across this or I came across it a while ago, but I thought it's something that people should be aware of. So thanks for watching.